Hello and welcome to Fawad Lake's walkthrough videos. Today we are going to look into Kaspersky Security Center and we'll see uh, how can we create a standalone package for Kaspersky Endpoint Security along with Network Agent. Um, this could be required where you have a minimal staff or you have to send it to someone who doesn't have internet access or who cannot connect to your environment currently or it could be for those uh, sites where you don't have technical staff that is that is very much trained you know, for it so uh, in order to create a standalone package what you would need to do is you just need to open security center uh, installation server control you will go to advance then you have remote installation you will go to installation packages if you look over here we have Kaspersky endpoint security 10 for windows over here so what we'll do, we'll right click on this one and we'll say create standalone installation package. If you look over here, we can add installation of network agent along with this application or we can avoid it. So, but for the timing, what we'll do, we'll create a standalone package with network agent along with it. So we'll click next. So what do you want to do after installing this agent? So what we'll do, we are going to move this to IT Hub this group and we'll see next this is the just this is the name of the package which we have created so we'll click next and it is going to create a package for us so the package creation is done now what you can do is you can open a folder you can email the link of a standalone package you can uh, get the sample of HTML code for link published on a website that's also possible so now I'll say next and I'll finish it so if we come over here we don't have any machine currently over here so we are going to copy this package from KL share folder and we'll paste it on our dashboard the only thing which package requires you to have is the admin rights to install it so we'll just click this package and you can see there is a single click installation button start installation so we just need to wait for this to get complete and then we just need to finish the installation so what we'll do we are going to pause this video and then once the installation is complete we'll resume it so our installation is about to get complete if you look we have extracting we have completed the extracting archive to temporary folder we have done the installation of Casper security center 10 network agent checking the administration administration server connection we have done and the last point is installation of Kaspersky endpoint security which is going to complete in some time. Alright, so if you look over here now the installation of Kaspersky endpoint security 10 for Windows is completed along with network agent. We just need to say close. We'll close this. And now we can delete this if we want. So let it be there for some time and then we'll delete it later. So let's go and check over here it should appear in a while over here see so you can see that this machine over um, where we have installed Kaspersky endpoint security has appeared no security application installed that definitely this will also uh, vanish because once this agent will report back so if you look over here now installation of Kaspersky endpoint security along with network agent is completed through standalone package so this was the tutorial for today please comment um, like whatever you would feel that you should give your feedback at least so that we can make sure that we try to cover those topics as well which you feel that you need assistance with thanks for watching once again